Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is just another reading for May, so we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this could happen at any time. So what do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May? At any time. In the near future. Woo! Boxing gloves. That's fun. So, uh, that's these gloves are hung up, though. Maybe you're all done playing games, or you need to get ready. Okay, you may need to get out your boxing gloves, or you may need to put them away. Let's see what we got here. I mean, that's that's fight. That's a fight, definitely. Um, speeding causes accidents. Need to slow down. Right now. Right now. You need to slow down. Maybe you need to hang up your boxing gloves. Maybe you need to take a break. Karma. Justice. Uh, the scales are balanced in this card, so there is something coming that is going to bring balance. And maybe you need to bring balance to your life. Um, that is in the future. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is going to, you know, this is the, I feel like this is hanging up the boxing gloves. I feel like it's putting the boxing gloves away. It's done fighting. You, there could, you know, when you see the scales, there's two sides to every situation. So, you know, somebody may be getting some sort of karma, maybe in the form of an accident. Okay, and, and you know, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. There's always two sides to it to the situation. Um, you know, it's like the defendant and the plaintiff. Somebody wins, somebody loses. Okay. Um, the same with a battle, same with the boxing ring, being in the boxing ring, somebody wins, somebody loses. Um, this means that, uh, somebody needs to slow down They need to slow down, um, before there's an accident. Or there could be an accident, and accidents don't have to be car accidents, you know, that somebody is getting uh, because of all the fighting that they've engaged in, you know, because of always wanting to compete. Um, there is definitely karma and justice and a balancing of the scales that is coming for you justice is about to be served in some way and i feel this is going to allow you to retire your boxing gloves okay um hmm. let's get one of these what do we have for gemini deceit in the past absolutely there has been some deceit there's been deception all is not as it seems somebody's been hiding behind that curtain but i feel like there is something that is about to be revealed when you think about the scales of the justice system that is truth is being revealed this could have to do with legalities it could have to deal with universal karma there is some sort of justice that is about to be served, and I feel like the justice is about to be served in your favor. You have been deceived by somebody that is uh, very, very greedy. Look at the money. Very, very greedy. Very, very selfish. Um, you have been deceived, but I feel like there's a rebalancing that is coming. Whoever has deceived you is going to get their karma, and you are going to get yours. But I feel like yours is on the other side right yours is um i feel like you're going to get the balance and the justice that you deserve what advice do we have for gemini somebody rushed into something and i feel like they're getting caught or there's an accident that that happens obviously 
giving and receiving and that's interesting because this is about giving and receiving too it really is giving and receiving the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations when only you, when you only exhale give or only inhale receive you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health energy and replenishment balance each inhalation of your life with an exhalation so inhale and exhale and this is about balance and it's interesting because going right here so there is going to be a rebalancing. I feel like you have not gotten what you have deserved. You have been giving a lot. You haven't been receiving. You are about to receive something. You have. And I feel like it's going, whatever, but, and I think that whoever you are dealing with that deceived you is also going to receive something. Okay. Um, hmm. What do we have for Gemini? Oh, one fell, two. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, Reverse. So Eight of Swords is uh, mental turmoil, trapped, um, reevaluation. There's some sort of reevaluation going on right now. Somebody has been uh, restricted or confined or... Um, contained they've been staying in a or they've been in a situation that they need to get out of but they haven't gotten out of it there's fear here there's um, pride there's ego following the crowd some there's following the pack we have we have a leader that really isn't a leader this person is very egotistical that does not follow through this there has been a battle the battle is ending this is a failure somebody is it's like a failed attempt this is a con of some sort that has uh, restricted you in some way may have instilled some sort of fear in you that has made you stay in a situation Situation or made you stay put you may have been restricted or confined and, and and I feel like you've been battling with this person this is a battle this is a battle I feel like this is a loss I feel like uh, this person may have been recognized as a leader or they may but if they're losing respect they're losing they're losing um, recognition from people this person is very cocky and smug and inexperienced and they shouldn't be in the position that they're in i feel like there is some sort of justice that is coming for you okay i feel like this person is about to experience a loss they this person is um not following through doesn't follow through it doesn't think, I feel like this person doesn't think before they act. Very, very deceptive energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and that could be their their moon, sun, or rising rising sign. I do believe there's a reevaluation going on. Um, and it could be the justice system, you know, the, the, the law that is reevaluating something. Um, could be the courts even. It could also be um, the people, okay, because the Six of Wands typically has a lot of people. It could be the people that are reevaluating, um, reevaluating somebody's actions. Um, there has been some sort of... Uh, it feels like well when you think about what comes before the eight of swords is the seven of swords there's been a lot of deception cheating there's some sort of cheating here or uh, uh what's the word mental conflicts or mental uh, manipulation you know there's been some sort of manipul yeah, that's what it is manipulation here but i feel like this battle there's been a there's been a strong competition somebody has been competing competing with you you know deceptively they've they've been scheming and lying and doing things that they shouldn't be doing this person is extremely greedy very 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 selfish money hungry okay and it feels like they've been put in a position where they were getting respect people were believing them but i feel like they're not believing them anymore um six of wands reverse is a loss this is a a, a failure of some sort um 
two of swords reverse this is beginning to see the truth uh coming out of denial so yeah this is coming out of denial this is the truth being revealed lies being exposed something is about to be exposed about an individual who has been uh blocking something this person is very cunning they are very cunning they instill instill fear this is instilled fear very 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 manipulative but lies are being exposed and this person may end up you know I don't know if they may end up you know in judged you know with that karma card or they end up they could eat karma works in mysterious ways okay they, there could be an accident Okay, I, I mean, the six of wands reversed is, you know, it's bad news. It's unwelcome news. This is somebody that this is a disgrace. It's it's somebody that uh, has abused their power in some way and uh, their followers, perhaps as well, because the six of wands reversed. This is the fo losing followers, losing respect from people that once followed them, that once believed in them. And this because this person doesn't follow through. So whoever you're dealing with is losing respect from others. Others are starting to see that this person is not who they say that they are. Put it that way. I feel like there's been some sort of delay. There's been fear of change. There's been uh, lies. There's been extreme fear, okay, with these two cards. There has been a lot of fear. I feel like um, there's been a lot of anxiety and discontent and staying put because of fear. But I feel like there's, there's going to be some sort of change. And it's universal change. It's universally guided, I believe. Um, a blockage is about to be removed, and it could absolutely be the fear. People, I mean, somebody is starting to see something that they didn't see before. And I think it's because some there's some sort of exposure here. So, and it is a disgrace. It is a disgrace. There's, there's some sort of disgrace here. Um, Whoever you're dealing with is emotionally cold. This person has a blocked heart chakra, okay? They're very, they're just, this person is extremely greedy. All they care about is money and things and materialism and competition. Whoever you, is highly competitive. This person wants to win at all costs just to say that they won, but they don't have the experience to be in the position that they're in, okay? Nine of Wands reversed. Oh, Nine of Wands reversed is expect trouble, okay? That is some... We have somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder. It's not you. It's the person that you're dealing with. This person is about to experience a setback, maybe some bad luck. Whoever you're dealing with has a lot of pride, extreme pride. They sit on a high horse. They're very egotistical and cocky extremely this person um is probably starting to get overwhelmed they're getting overwhelmed with the position that they're in they can't keep up with it it's like they can't keep up with the lies anymore and it's because um it's because they're they're uh it's almost like they're not looking where they're going they're not looking where they're going they're moving too fast they're so cocky this person is extremely, extremely smug. Um, nine of swords, or nine, it's nine of wands, nine of wands reversed. Uh, hard feelings, angry, angry about the, what life has given them and that is why they don't care about who they hurt. This person is angry about the challenges that they have had in their life and that's why they are they are instilling fear because it makes them feel better it makes them feel better to be in this position it feeds their ego this is not hold on let me just get another one 
We get two more. We have relationship problems here. Five of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like there's grieving over a loss here. Somebody may have experienced a loss and they haven't healed from that loss. And that's why they're causing the pain that they're causing you. May have to do with a child or have to do with parents mother and father lack of love when they were a child or it may have to do with their child um, or a relationship that they lost I feel like healing is needed I feel like uh, we do have a separation here we have a separation that is coming in the future I feel like uh, The Five of Cups is grieving, focusing on a loss, not realizing that there is an opportunity, there is another prospect right here. I feel like we have a relationship that is not working out. There's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of suffering. Somebody is angry. They have not been able to come forward because of extreme pride. They haven't been able to... Uh, own up to their mistakes to take ownership of their mistakes but I feel like there's some sort of karma or justice that is coming that may uh, expose whatever this is expose them there's some sort of exposure here there is three of swords reversed is it could be extreme suffering it could be it could be extreme. We have relationship problems here. We have a dying dream. I feel like we have a breakup or a split. Maybe that's the person that you're dealing with or a separation or a loss. We do have a loss here. We do. With the Six of Wands reversed, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Cups reversed, the Three of Swords. We have a loss. You have Nine of Wands that's giving up a fight. That's can't do it anymore. Somebody is... Definitely, and, and, all, and, and it may be uh, coming out of denial because the somebody is coming out of denial. They are reevaluating. They are reevaluating the game. They are reevaluating the competition. They are reevaluating a loss. They're reevaluating the restrictions. They're reevaluating who they are. And they're angry. Somebody here is angry. And it could be the people because of that Six of Wands does have people in it. Somebody is really, really angry. They're upset. Somebody is upset over the deception. Anyhow, Three of Swords reversed is on the path to recovery. It is healing energy. It is. There's been suffering. There has been pain over a relationship that has been lost. Huh. We could have the end of a relationship here. The Ten of Cups reverse is like, it could be the end of a relationship. This is a dying dream, you know. Somebody may be getting exactly what they deserve. They could be being told no. Because the Six of Wands upright is a yes. Well, in reverse, it's a no. You may be telling somebody no, and that is in your position. Okay? So, but it doesn't mean, it can also be the other person. I just read, I read, I don't really like positions, and that's why I don't follow spreads. I want to read what the card says as it comes out of my mouth. I don't want to follow somebody else's opinion. Remember, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. I don't want to go by somebody else's way. You know? This is part of the reading, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do it the way that I see fit. Not by how everybody else does it. So I don't I don't like positions. I don't I don't like to be told how to do things. I'm gonna follow my gut. I do believe there is a rebalancing of the scales. I feel as though there is some sort of justice that is coming. You have been dealing with somebody that has uh, failed. 
to acknowledge the truth about what they did to you. And I feel like this person is reevaluating or the world or the people are reevaluating. There is a reevaluation going on with that eight of swords. Eight of swords is lies. Okay, it is. There has been a lot of lies and there is a huge reevaluation going and there's going to be justice. This is a time where justice is going to be served. Whoever this is that has uh, caused you all these challenges and caused you to live in fear in some way or has caused you to restrict yourself or confine, your, confine yourself or has confined you in some way. This person may have restricted you from doing something. They have caused you a lot of challenges put it that way and I feel like this is uh, this person that has caused you to fight 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 or the need to fight 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 is about to experience a loss you know one more card and you're gonna be receiving what are you gonna receive I mean I don't know what you're gonna receive came out it flew out I don't know if you saw it wheel of fortune you're gonna receive a reward of some sort I was just I wanted to clarify that the wheel of fortune is good luck it is uh, good luck is coming destiny karma the cycle is over a positive change this is the wheel of life this is the wheel of fortune this is something fortunate it's being at the right place at the right time a destined change of course it's the end of a cycle it's the end of a chapter the wheel is spinning you in a new direction you are going towards something more fortunate you are about to receive some sort of reward in the very near future A positive change is coming for you. I said, what do you receive? That card literally jumped out of the deck. I don't know if you saw it or not because I wasn't looking up and I don't know. But that is a very positive change. You are going in a new direction. You've got something very, this is good luck being at the right place at the right time. You are about to receive something that you are destined to receive. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is forward movement. More and more and more and more. More and more and more abundance. This is also the Rods of Love. It is good news. It is triumphant news arriving on swift wings. You got something good coming, Gemini. You're going to be receiving a lot of messages. You're going to be receiving recognition. You're going to be receiving a reward. And it's. I think it's a lot because that is a lot. I mean, what more can I say? Get ready, because this is ready. Things are going to change. This is a change fast. Very positive change. I feel like there's some sort of battle that is over. And I feel like you win. And I feel like whoever you are dealing with is getting, and I hate to say this, it feels like they may have rushed into something and I feel, maybe they rushed into something and now it's being taken away or the recognition or the kudos or the support that they had or something like that is being, this is, is a disgrace. There is something that is about to, the truth is about to be revealed. Or you're going to receive some information about this person that, you know, moves you in a new direction. Either way, you have a change that is coming. It is positive change. This is a, it's a time, it's a very lucky, lucky, lucky time for you. Luck is on your side. Good luck.